Hi folks, this tutorial will focus on the use of head mounted cameras within iClone 7's new facial mocap plugin, along with Faceware Real Time for iClone. I'll be discussing hardware in some detail later, but initially I want to cover the primary functional issues, which are the settings you need to use both in the server and the plugin applications, as well as the practical setup considerations. I'm wearing a head cam at the moment, and first, it's important to note that in Faceware Real Time for iClone, I have the head cam face tracking model selected. I also have my camera feed necessarily rotated by 90 degrees for correct orientation, since the camera I'm using is mounted at 90 degrees. But if your camera is not rotated, it's still very important to ensure that your face is fully framed in the view. Faceware's tracking and iClone's parameters for head-mounted cameras are optimized for a vertical rectangular view like this. So, if your camera is not rotated, it's important that you change your camera aspect ratio to frame your face in this way. It's also important to note that when using a head cam, the user's features are framed differently to the static camera view which I've shown in previous videos. Since here, the grid overlay shows that the user's nose is horizontally central and the mouth is vertically within the central box. The camera position and orientation relative to my face is approximately straight onto my nose in order to allow enough screen space to fully capture my eyebrows as well as to cope with full jaw opening. This is the optimum camera position and from here I calibrate my face as I've shown you before using a neutral expression and, as I've explained in previous videos, with my mouth slightly open for lip sync. Now, moving to the iClone mocap plugin, I'll open the profile mapping window. Here you can see that I have the head cam JSON parameters file loaded. Now, these parameters have been optimized for using a head cam, and whilst the static cam JSON parameters will work whilst using a head cam, you will get better results using the head cam JSON file. Now, lighting is also a major consideration for head cams, and it will help to have a small light source mounted on the camera too, in order to ensure balanced illumination of the face as the user's head moves. If anything, Lighting is even more important for head cam than static camera use, since because the user's face is closer to the camera, and because the head cam tracking model is tracking relatively larger feature movements, the head cam approach is more sensitive to lighting. Hence, when setting up to use a head cam, do check that along with correct framing and decent lighting of the user's face in the mounted camera view, that you're using the head cam tracking model in Faceware Real Time for iClone. Also, that you're using the head cam JSON parameters file in the iClone mocap plugin itself. And once you're up and running, you can use all the functions of the iClone mocap plugin just as you can when using a static camera setup. Now, all of these points are also valid if you're using a head-mounted camera to record a video in order to produce a PNG sequence. I described how to make PNG sequences in iClone in my previous tutorial. So, I just load one here, which was made from a video recorded from the head-mounted camera. Remembering to select the folder itself and not to go into the folder when loading a PNG sequence. The image sequence loads, and first I'll calibrate and then review the settings. As you can see, the framing and lighting approach is the same, and when using a PNG sequence which has been produced from a video made with a head-mounted camera, it's important to ensure that the sequence is correctly oriented 
and that you're using the head cam tracking model in Faceware real time for iClone to track the PNG sequence. Also, in the facial mocap plugin itself, that you're using the head cam JSON parameters file in the mocap plugin to handle the streaming data. Okay, so I've covered setting up and using head cams for live capture as well as PNG sequences. Now I'm just turning the 3D preview off here and I'm going to finish off by discussing hardware. I'll show you the head mounted camera rig I'm using. This is a very simple DIY rig which uses a cut down bicycle helmet an aluminium tube as a boom which is mounted to the helmet as well as an adjustable mount for the camera and a small LED light source next to the camera. Now this is far from being professional kit but it does work. Faceware provides highly robust professional head cam rigs which are very much recommended for professional studio use but for animators on tight budgets it is possible to make your own rig using readily available materials and if you do decide to make your own rig I'd certainly recommend finding the lightest camera possible which allows 30 frames per second and over as well as using aluminium tubing for booms and strong adjustable attachments for both the boom and the camera. This has been a tutorial covering the use of head mounted cameras with iClone 7's facial mocap plugin and Faceware real-time for iClone. The next tutorial will describe real practice considerations and how to get the best out of facial mocap when producing animations. Thanks for watching.